Now let's talk about executing these packages that we've created. And once you've done all this hard work and you've got a package out there, you've deployed it to the catalog, now it's time to execute it. Now package execution can occur in one of two ways. First of all, it can be on-demand. There's a number of ways to do an on-demand execution. And that's direct user action or programmatically. And there's a number of ways to do it programmatically. Talk about that in a minute. The second, and this is probably the most likely way that you're going to execute your packages once you fully tested them, is they will be automated and they will go automatically based on a schedule. Talk about that more in a separate video. Now, on on-demand execution, keep in mind a number of ways to go about this. It can occur in the SQL Server Management Studio interface. I'll demo that in just a second here, a little bit later in this video. Uh, I can also execute a DTS uh, X package from a Transact SQL command. Now, I'm not going to show you that. You can go look on the Microsoft's website. There's examples all over the place for doing that. But it's a little bit too involved, and I'm running out of time in the course here. Then there's Windows PowerShell, same thing. Then there's the uh, SQL Server Integration Services API, and we can use that to execute these packages. And then there is, notice a slight change in the name, it's a new one here, a DT Exec Command Line Utility. So that's your op options for on demand. Pay close attention here. Watch for this on the exam, know about this in real life. DT Exec is the new way to execute the SQL Server 2012 packages, okay, for the command line. Now, DT Exec UI cannot be used. That's the old way we did it. In prior versions, it cannot be used to execute packages created in SQL Server 2012. You use DT Exec UI to execute only those old MSDB-based packages. Now, you can convert them. I've already talked about that. And then... Um, you can use DT Exec to execute them, but just don't get confused. DT Exec UI is the old version, can't use it on packages created in SQL Server 2012. Just make sure you remember that. Now, an automated execution, we're going to execute the package based on a schedule created as part of a SQL Server agent job. Okay, so now uh, let's jump out into Management Studio and take a quick look here. Uh, if you remember, in the video that was entitled Deploying a Project, we actually deployed uh, this parameter test project. I had named it uh, Integration Services Project 9. But notice here is the package, and all I have to do is right-click, and you'll notice Execute right here. So I'll just choose Execute, and this will open up a little uh, environment that I can use. And it'll also give me the opportunity. Notice it's letting me know, hey, wait now, you got some parameters here, okay? Do you want to set the value on these parameters, all right? And I'll just take this. I could type in, right, uh, MTL or whatever my other database was. But uh, I'll just take AdventureWorks 2012, the default that came in, and then I'll click OK. And then it will go out and it will start to execute that package. Now, I won't see any message boxes or anything. Uh, those are out there. And notice it's telling me, Operation ID 2 has started. For information about it, uh, open the Integration Services Dashboard Report from the SSIDB node. And um, would you like to open the uh, Overview Report now? Well, yes, I would. And you can open that up. And if you open it up quickly enough, you can actually uh, see the little color wheel moving, and you'll see that thing running, OK? But uh, yeah, it's still running, so uh, we'll see it here. Now what this is going to do is just give me a report on the status of this package execution. It'll let me know if it was successful or if it failed. But again, in my packages, I'm probably uh, going to have that thing emailing me or net sending or something. And so notice, uh, here it is, the status of our package. Uh, it succeeded. Uh, we can see what was run there. Then I can come down. Uh, I can see... Uh, the duration in seconds, I can get some duration information. And then if I scroll over to the right, I can see some more information about who called it, how, property paths, and all sorts of things. Notice the caller was the VTC SP administrator. It took nine seconds. Here's the start and the end time and so forth. So very, very easy to execute these on demand. And it'll ask you for any kind of parameters, variables you need to set. And uh, you're good to go. Okay, so that is how to execute a package, and that's really on demand, and we'll talk about scheduling a package in a separate video.